Alright, so we are going to do a few things because this cage uh, is too warm for the Taiwan Beauty Snakes. So, I put the last video I just posted, I moved the Taiwan Beauty Snake into this cage. And then shortly after that, I posted on my Instagram that I took the female and put the female in with the male uh, in the same cage just to see what happens. Not to, I didn't think they would breed, but I just wanted to put them in the same cage now since it's big enough for them. Uh, but they are all the way both on the cool end now that they've been there for over 24 hours. And I checked the temperature and it's a little too warm for them. So we're going to have to figure something out with this cage. Um, but before I pulled him out, the dragon didn't finish eating his food. So, where are we moving the Taiwan beauties to? I picked up a new vision cage, right? Fucking sweet, man. Okay, so it is... It's the same width as the cage that I already had. It's not as deep, but it fits just on, along the top of it. If you see how visions are made, this one is made to fit on top of it still. Uh, it's a little bit taller. And then also it comes with two sweet little branches installed all the way across it. And it has two, if you look up right up in here, it has two lighting. What are the incandescent lightings installed, right? So picked this up, found it on a up, up, and it was actually sitting longer than what I would usually let things sit for when I find them. Uh, but it was a little, you know, it still wasn't cheap. When you get them used, you can go hit and miss, and people still try and get their money back for them. And this person, not didn't get all their money back, but they installed some other stuff. And uh, if you try and get a vision right now, it's fucking difficult. So. Uh, when they come up on Craigslist offer up, money's tight, you figure it out, you make it work, and then you just save the money later on, because you know you're going to have to pay for it later on, so why pay for it in full later on, when you can pay for it not in full right now, and then you just make it work. So, please excuse that little bit of jump, you almost got, you almost got struck by the female. So you see, her feeding response is insane, and I can tell it's her because one, she's a little more dull, and two, she just came out the cage, and that's what the female does. But since it's too warm for her, we are going to get the hook around one snake. Yeah, crawl out, that's what we want, perfect. Alright, so this is the female, and uh, oh, I didn't even set the cage, I guess I have to uh, put, just put her in a tub. it will be fun. Let's see if she'll eat one of these. Careful, because she really wraps her tail around you. I don't want her to fire back at me. Let's see if we can get her to get one more. There we go. There we see. Line her up in it. Bam. Oh, she she stole two of them. They look cool. All right, so we're gonna put her back into a tub for right now. So we're just going to move her into that, and 
I'm gonna pull the second Taiwan Beauty out, we're gonna move him into a tub, and then I'm gonna just take all this substrate and put it into here and set them up into this cage because it won't be as hot. So it's not as wide, but it's taller. And we're gonna see if it works for him. If it doesn't, then I'll pull the female out. I'll put her into the tub for now until she outgrows the male. Um, and then she can have that cage. But this cage is too warm, which sucks because I don't want to put the boa back in here, but that's really the only snake that I can that's warm enough. Same thing with this male. Give him something to eat real quick. Woo! That's the one thing with Taiwan Beauties. See, he should go a little bit smoother now. There we go. Feeding Taiwan Beauties 101. This is the hard part now, is getting them back. Into the tub. Alright, second Taiwan Beauty down. Now, we can pull this glass off. Put that there. kind of sucks. I really like having them in this cage because it's lit up super cool. But since it's too warm, we're going to have to figure something else out. Where is my... Where'd you put my scooper? Clear scooper on a clear bin. I can't see it. Alright, so since I just changed the substrate, that's why I'm not putting new substrate in. I'm just shoveling it into this one. Because I just did this, what did we do this, yesterday? Just did it yesterday. Look at that. One whole day. So this is mixed Aspen and Forest Floor. Why do I mix Aspen and Forest, forest Floor? No reason at all. I just did it. Pretty much I had forest floor and then you go and get the next batch is aspen so then you have like a half and half or maybe you keep like half the substrate of your other one and then put in some new aspen or put in some new of this. I decide to. And aspen's cheaper. Which is probably the main reason. I like dry stuff too. I like it better than the tan bark's cool, but you can just soak down the aspen and then it does the same job, right? Nobody knows. This is like taking the same amount of substrate. And it's a different size cage. Oh, it's probably deeper. That's what it is. It's not two feet deep. Oh, maybe it is two feet deep. Never mind. It's like three foot by two foot deep by like two foot tall. Or like by 20 inches tall or something. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in here now. I don't really want to put the bow in here because this cage goes up way up here, right? What if I put the bow in here, set it up and just leave this fucking branch in here and just see if it actually uses the log? Let's do it. I love the bow in the bow file cage because he looks super cool. But I can't put a log in there and since, since it seems like I could only put the bow right now, into that big cage because everything else I keep pretty much have to keep a little bit cooler and the ball python doesn't need that big ass cage. Let's pull this glass off, right? And then I'm gonna put a little extra. That looks kind of cool. I wonder if I had to like drill it in. I could just drill it right there. Right, let me see if that works. That's kind of cool. Bam. Yeah. 
So I clean this thing before I set everything up. That way I don't bring anything that could possibly be in the cage. Give it to my snakes, right? Try and clean it up. And then, I guess now we just put the tiny little beauties in. Simple as that. All right, this is the female, this is Violet. One Taiwan beauty. Since he just ate, I'm gonna be extra careful because they will fucking bite if their mouth touch against you for sure. Woohoo! So he lunged with his mouth open, that's crazy. <laughs> Crazy ass snakes. Hook you back in there. There you go. Right, get back in the cage. Yeah, they look cool in there and they got some more height. They'll definitely be using the branches. Super cool. So I just pulled the shop light from here for now, just to put it above it, just so you guys can see. I'm gonna wait on setting up this cage for the boa. We'll just let this be free for now. So I put my male false water cobra up into this cage right here. I believe it's in the last video that I posted because I moved some stuff around. So you guys should have already seen that. If you haven't, go make sure you click it. Just click on my channel, go to the last video, check that one out. I'm not gonna link it because that's just click on my channel and then go click the video. And then watch some other ones when you're there too. And give me a thumbs up too. With Hansel being there, right? False Water Cobra male. I'm gonna move Gretel into here. And I guess since I'm moving, I'm gonna talk while I work, right? Since I'm moving Hansel, who's the boy. Oh no, 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 I already moved him. Gretel, who's the girl. I'm gonna be moving her. What the fuck am I looking for? There you are. So Gretel is a little bit of a firecracker. So let's see how she does. Oh, Alright, this is my female false water cobra. We are moving both false water covers now out of the racks into some sweet little vision cages. So I use dry aspen for her. I have forest floor for him and then I have aspen for her. I'm going to end up putting a bigger water bowl in there for her but since they always are in and out of the water, they make a mess, I'm not going to use something that holds the humidity a bunch because 
it's gonna be constantly getting wet with water. So it'll get too wet in there. So for me, if I were to keep them just a little bit on some dry bedding and they keep making a mess with the water, it doesn't get so wet and soppy in there. It just dries it up and then you just spot clean it or clean it however often you need to. Why is there so much space? Why am I able to move so much stuff? All right? Why does this rack now that's 11 high only have one, two snakes in it right now, and after tomorrow it's only gonna have one snake in it, right? Shipping another snake out, dash, sold. I sold many other snakes. I got everything I need to ship them. Look at that stuff up there, right? Plenty of boxes. I got all these cabinets. There's stuff inside these cabinets, and I can use that stuff to send a snake to you, or however you wanna do it. We can meet up. I met up with plenty of people. I've dropped some snakes off. We've met up somewhere local. We can make it happen, Captain. But yeah, that's why I got so much space, right? Cleared out that, I got some stuff coming in, and we're just kind of refreshing. We're dialing everything into the projects that I want to work on, and then we're getting some extra stuff with some extra stuff that I wanted before. And with that, we can move some stuff from the rack into cages, off paper, onto substrate, which originally was on substrate at one time beforehand. Fun, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Gotta look, we got all this extra room now. I got the two false water cobras in here. Uh, dash, sold, right, the leucistic gone. The albino rattlesnake, look at it, I got one fucking rattlesnake right here. This is the regular albino rattlesnake. This is the regular albino rattlesnake. Regular albino rattlesnake. Right, and then I got the speckled over there. But that albino was a motherfucker. Okay, every time you had to clean his poop, or change his water, or walk by the cage, or do anything near it, it wanted to kill you. So, it's actually pretty easy to find people that are looking for rattlesnakes, plenty of people are. And I didn't want to ship the snake, so I was able to work something out. Since I have just that speckled one over there, and I have this western diamondback, I'm gonna hold on to the western diamondback for now, and then we're just gonna go from there. Uh, if I could find someone that maybe wants to meet up and do a trade or something like that. You know what I mean? I like vision cages. Is that pretty much it for right now? Is the rest of it just fucking ranting to you guys? We got so much going on that I can just make videos of talking, 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 talking. I gotta finish feeding. I got some chicken hearts, right? Rodent Pro came in, but I also went to, uh, what is it? Super King? Yeah, went to Super King. Went out to Super King, got a whole bunch of meat. Chicken hearts, chicken stuff, pork snout, pig snout. All kinds of fun, yummy, delicious goodies. Actually, I'm not going to lock these yet because i got to finish feeding some stuff. I'm not going to show you guys that. I just want to show you the update of everything. And I'll move the bow into that when it got time. Yada, 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 yada.